see how I like it. You have to go to top dead center to it to start. I hear they're really fast. Alright guys, we are on Cade's 2021 YZ252 stroke. I've never rode one of these, so we'll see how it goes. I rode the 250X, but these are supposed to be way more gnarly, so we'll see how it goes. I don't really know what this is. Mm-hmm. 
you to be asked. I think I can get that on this in second gear. But you could. Should I? I want to ask Brant or someone. Or Colton. Maybe he knows. I I don't know. Two the two strokes gearing is different, so. Hey, you think I could hit that on this in second gear? Two the two strokes. Huh? Second on this. Third on those, I know. But you know second for sure? Try, is there a line off the track to hit it? Yeah, there's one where I hit it off and it down. Well, I just mean like from over there. Oh, I don't think so. Show me the line you hit. I think it's second gear on there. Oh, way out. This would be second gear over that. This thing's fast. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should hit it on my bike. Yeah, have you hit it yet today? Not today. The run up's kind of gnarly. Yeah, it is. It's slick. Yeah, you didn't get any traction there. Normally when you hit it from way outside like that on a nice day, you go long. Third 
wick, she's good. I was a little nervous there I was coming up to her, but... Alrighty guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. It was super sick riding the 2021 uh, YZ252 stroke. Um, the track was pretty gnarly, as you guys could tell. Um, what ended up happening is they said that it's prepped riding for $35 or so. But what happened is they prepped it last Sunday or Saturday, something like that, and it got rained out. So they left the track for a week. It rained more on Monday. Today is Thursday and they just advertised as prepped and we get there and I mean the dirt was good don't get me wrong but the water puddles were not good and really dangerous. It ended up being fine because during the day as it progressed and more riders showed up the water started to go away and it started to be a lot more fun but early in the morning it wasn't looking too hot. Um, but it yeah I had a lot of fun on the 21 YZ250. I like how the power comes on right away as compared to like my 125. The 125s take a little while to wind up and then they just kind of fall on their face on top and then you just have to shift a lot. The 252 stroke, what I noticed is you can kind of stay in second gear, kind of like a 450 and ride it around. It'll keep pulling all the way to the top of what it has. And then once you get to third, if you're going above third gear, you're going wicked fast. Um, I only touched third gear hitting that big double on in the video and third gear on some of the straightaways, but the rest was in second gear, which was pretty snappy. So I liked third gear better because it was more mellow power, but nonetheless, it's a rowdy 252 stroke and definitely gonna put that into consideration for a bike next year because the 125 is awesome. But as I'm progressing as a rider, I do want something a little faster, which would keep me more focused on learning to ride this better. Cause you guys know when you have more speed as a rider, you're gonna want a bike to match that. And it's kind of tough because the 125 is pretty slow compared to the 250 and especially the 252 stroke. Um, but yeah. Now I was a little nervous to try it out because everything I've heard about them is that they're really rowdy and gnarly and hard to control. And I don't know if you guys know, but way back in the channel, 
I did own a, it was either an 01 or an 02, I think it was an 01, uh, YZ250. And that was when I was a newer rider. So I never even rode the thing. I rode it once and then got rid of it because I just couldn't ride it. I was scared. I was a beginner and you should not be on a 252 stroke as a beginner yet. I was on a 450 as well. Um, but never got used to it. So it was real nice to ride a newer 252 stroke, especially after riding those 250 X's, which are geared way differently um, and handle way differently than the 250 race bike. Now I would definitely buy a Yamaha. However, like I always say, I'm on KTM's platform. So I'd probably get a 23 and up KTM 250 SX. And I'd be really curious to know what the TBI is like, because if you guys know, if you, if you ride a YZ125, the power's kind of, kind of almost not, not harder to use, but if you've ridden a TBI, it's easier to get in the power band than I feel like a YZ125. So I'm just curious what the TBI 250SX would be like, because the TBIs seem to make a smoother power band and the YZs just seem to be a gnarlier power band. But otherwise, I really love the bike. I like the clutch. The suspension was really stiff. He just bought it from someone. It was a used bike, so it was set up for a lot heavier than both we are. So, um, it was a little tough to corner. If you guys could tell, those forks were really stiff. It didn't want to settle down at all. But once that gets revalved, the thing would be a, a monster in the corners. But definitely, like, so fast. The big double in the back, you guys know you have to hit it third wide on a 250F. I could have hit that in second. I guarantee it. I just hit third because um, I wanted to be safe, especially because it was my bike. But, yeah. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you guys want us to do more reviews on bikes... If you're in the area, I'll ride your bike and do a review on it. Otherwise, uh, we'll see what we can get our hands on and we'll do reviews on them. But thanks for watching.